What's up YouTube, it's Rob Stark, and in today's video I'm going to give you a guide on how to use Brock. Alright, so before we get started, I have a table of contents up for you guys, and you can skip around to the parts of the video you want to watch. Or if you want to skip a part and go to another part, you know where to look. Alright. So recently, Brock has risen into prominence since his most recent buffs. He's now one of the better brawlers in almost every game mode, and I would expect at least a small nerf to him in the next balance changes. Probably something like a health nerf along with a small reload nerf, and maybe a small super nerf as well, possibly making it take more hits to get his super. Now, I'll list his stats on the side, but just as a brief dialogue, Brock is a long range brawler with one of the longest ranges in the game, and he has an ability to deal lots of damage with his rockets, especially with his super. His super can deal a ton of damage in an area and really area deny certain parts of the map or objectives or hit multiple enemies at once. His rockets also deal a very small amount of splash damage, a little over a tile, but often it's hard to take advantage of that on purpose. Now let's go over some general tips with Brock. So for Brock, while his rockets do fire pretty fast, at long ranges you do have to lead your shots a bit. Try to aim where the enemy is going, not where they are, unless they're standing still or running towards or away from you. Brock is great at getting early shots, and what I mean by this is oftentimes on each map, People run to the same places at the start of the game every time, in general. Not always one place, but there are certain places that people always run to. Try to learn those places and fire shots at them in the beginning of the game to either get easy hits or at the least push them back fast. If you don't have enough shots to deal a killing blow and you aren't at full ammo, one thing I would recommend is to try and take your time and let yourself reload while you're looking for an easier angle or an easier way to hit your shots. For example, if you only have one shot left, consider not firing it until you have enough shots to kill your target, unless a teammate can either help you out or that one shot will get you your super and then you want to use your super. But let's say you're in a one-on-one -on -one versus Anita and it has 400 health. So you can't kill it with just one rocket. And on top of that, you're out of ammo. You have somewhere less than one shot. Instead of firing that first shot as soon as you get it, just keep reloading. And while you're reloading, try and find that best angle to get the easiest shot and potentially trying to get an easy two shot and surprise the Nita. And as far as using Brock Super, in general, I would say anytime you can get two to three hits, your super was probably worth it. It's gonna help recharge your super. Anytime you're using your super to recharge your super, obviously that's a pretty good usage. And while using his super, the one tip I would give probably is you wanna try and keep your target towards the center of your super, but also you wanna aim it towards the direction you think they're gonna run away to, as this makes it a lot harder for them to run away from your super. Because the one thing about Brock Super is while it does have a large area of effect, it's definitely possible for people to run away. Alright, now let's go over how Brock matches up with every single brawler. Now I'm going to pair up a few of these together just because Brock interacts with them in a very similar way, but if there are any distinctions, don't worry, I will go over them. To start out, let's go over how Brock matches up with Bull and El Primo. Now, neither of these is a good match for Brock, as they both have so much health, it's really difficult for Brock to kill them very fast. It generally takes, depending on health and upgrades, about 5 shots to kill Bull, and about 6 shots to kill El Primo. So in general, just try to avoid them, and have a teammate help you kill them. Don't use your super on either of them if they have their super, as they will just super out, and come to you, and likely kill you. Now for Mortis, another not good matchup for Brock, although if you can land one or two shots before the Mortis has a chance to get close, 
you're either going to scare him away or you have the ability to finish him off when he gets close as long as you're patient with your shots. If you wait for him after he dashes, you can hit your shots fairly easily at close range. But generally, don't waste too many shots on Mortis and especially don't use your super on him unless it's very important as it's really easy for him to dash away. And now I'm going to combine Shelly, Tara, Nita, and Poco as these are all similar situations for Brock. Now these are all winnable matchups if you keep your distance. It's going to take you around four shots to kill them, except for Poco if Poco heals. But in general, these mid-range brawlers are also going to be good targets for your super, as it's pretty likely that they're going to get close enough to you to make it hard for them to escape from your super. Just try not to engage in too much close combat, and you should be able to win most of these matchups. Now for Barley and Dynamite. If either of these are behind a wall, honestly, just stay away from them until they come out. Especially beware of Dynamite if he has a super. He can take down most all of your health with it and leave you ready to kill for one other shot. This is true with Barley as well, although not as much as it's a little easier to avoid some of the damage for Barley super. Now, if you can get either of these out into the open field where they can't hide, you should be able to kill them. Additionally, it should be fairly easy for you to kill them with your super. Now for Jesse. Jesse is a pretty easy matchup for Brock, as he basically out damages her and he has about the same health, and his reload is very similar as well. And on top of that, he's very good at killing her turret. If you see a Jesse put up a turret as a Brock, you are one of the main people who should be focusing on taking it out, as you can take it out safely from a distance and with just a few shots. Now Brock versus Pam. This is not a great matchup for Brock as it's going to take around 4 shots for Brock to kill Pam or it could be more if she's standing near her healing turret. Now try not to get in range of her shot very often because of this reason just try and chip away at her this way it'll help your teammates try and kill her and just keep her in a lower damage or lower health range. If she does put up her turret similar to Jesse, it's going to be your job to try and take it down. Now one thing with her turret is often enemies will group up near it, so this is a great place often for Brock to use his super. Generally at the least, you're going to kill her turret and usually you'll get a couple hits on the enemy as well. For Bo versus Brock, in general you gotta sort of play this similar to how you would play Pam. You don't want to be too aggressive versus Bo as it's going to take you a good amount of shots to kill him and he may out damage you especially if you miss. He can be a not bad target for your super but you do have to be careful that he doesn't sneak away as he's going to be more at the edge of your range than the middle. Versus Spike, this matchup is just going to come down to whoever can land more shots. Both of these brawlers deal a good amount of damage. But in general, just try and keep at medium to long range. This way it's going to be a lot harder for Spike to hit those shots versus you. And you can really add damage him that way. Versus Crow. Crow isn't a great target to shoot out at long distance since he moves very fast. But feel free to shoot at him from medium to close range. Now this may seem counterintuitive since Crow moves fast. But just two or three shots is going to kill Crow. So if you miss a couple, it's not the end of the world. One thing though is do not use your super on Crow in general, unless you have to, because, well, he can just fly out with his super for one, and then two, he walks much faster so he's able to get out of it quicker than most other brawlers. And now for the last four matchups. Brock versus Brock, Colt, Ricochet, and Piper. Now these are fairly even matchups. One of the main things I would say is to try and be constantly moving side to side and zigzags versus these brawlers to make it a lot harder for them to hit you. It's honestly a matter of who can hit more shots, right? One thing, Brock Super is easier to get kills with than Colts or Ricochets is. So in general, throughout a match, you should end up with more kills than Colts or Ricochet. Versus Piper, make sure not to use your super on her if she has her super, otherwise she'll just fly out of it. Versus other Brocks, just be careful not to get caught up in his super. 
If you want any of these brawlers to back off and you have your super, but you don't want to use it, say for example you're at 200 health and you don't want to use it because you're afraid you might die while you're shooting it and you'll have wasted it. One thing you can do is consider just pressing down the super button without aiming. This will give yourself a yellow circle and it's going to make the enemies think you're about to use your super and they're going to start running away to try and avoid it. Now let's get into how Brock is in each event type. So I'm going to go over some tips with him in each one and some good combinations and in general how well I think he does in each event. So let's start out with smash and grab. Brock is really good on most smash and grabs maps as he's a great backline unit who is far enough away from most of the battles and close range combat that he can safely pick up gems. Additionally, he has a great super that can easily area denial and deal a ton of damage. It's very easy for him to catch one or two enemies, especially as they go for gems. Now with Brock, there will definitely be times throughout the game where you can fire shots at gems that looks like an enemy is going to go for. As far as saving his super for countdown, I wouldn't say it's necessary, but it will definitely help. In general, I would say anytime you can use your super well and get good value, aka if you can use your super to help you get your next super, in general those are always good uses of your super in my opinion. As far as good combinations with Brock, honestly Brock is really versatile and he can fit with a lot of different combinations. He does fill the long range role very well though, so I wouldn't pair him with another long range brawler. Consider putting him with, you know, any sort of flanker or front line brawler like a Nita, a Shelly, or a Bull, and then a sort of support or mid-range brawler like a Poco, a Barley, or a Pam. Now for Bounty. Brock is one of the best brawlers in Bounty and he is great on every map. Just in general, keep your distance on most brawlers, use your range to your advantage, and especially avoid Bulls, El Primos, and Mortises. Now, if the enemy team outranges yours, you might consider trying not to blow up too much cover as it could hurt you more in the long run. Now, for Bounty, saving your super again is not totally necessary for the end of the match, but it definitely helps and oftentimes those are easy ways to get hits. As far as good combinations with Brock in Bounty, except for Outlaw Camp and Snake Prairie, it's honestly best to pair Brock with at least one or two other long range brawlers. Thank you, ESPN. Except on Outlaw Camp and Snake Prairie, it's honestly best to pair Brock with at least one or two other long range brawlers, where you can blow up most of the cover on the map and really use your range to your advantage, making it very hard for enemies to approach and hard for them to run away. Especially in Bounty, where you don't have to stay central to a map, it's much easier to have that range as you don't need to stay close to an objective. Now on Snake Prairie and Outlaw Camp, you want to use a close range brawler like a Bull, a Shelly, or El Primo, and then combine that with a high damage support brawler like a Dynamite, a Spike, or a Barley. And now for Heist. In Heist, Brock is currently pretty good. He can provide good defense and good offense with the ability to break down most of the barriers in front of the safe. Now on offense with Brock, you mostly want to just aim for kills, as while well, he can do a decent amount of damage to this safe, he's really not going to be able to deal a ton of damage like a Barley can or like a Colt can. Best case scenario is you use his super on the safe and you also catch enemies in the super. Now if you can just kill enemies though and you're not hitting the safe but you are killing enemies, that's totally fine as well, as that will really allow you and your teammates a lot more time to just shoot the safe. Now when you're on defense with Brock, try and save your super for when enemies are pushing into the safe and about to use their super as a quick easy way to just kill them. As far as good combinations with Brock for Heist, honestly the best combination is with Crow, Barley, and Brock. Now I know a lot of people don't have Crow. So if you don't have Crow, you can instead use a Colt, a sort of a long range damage or a ricochet, or you can use a bull to just charge into the safe and distract people. And now for Brawl Ball. So Brock and Brawl Ball is pretty good. And you might be noticing a trend. Brock is pretty good in pretty much everything. He's honestly, well, in Brawl Ball, he's a great backline brawler 
and he has a super who is really good at clearing out boxes and also punishing grouped up enemies, which honestly happens a lot in Brawl Ball. Now you want to try and use his super in an area that's going to destroy some of the enemy boxes, but is also hitting at least one enemy. So what you do is you're basically waiting for an enemy to walk into, you know, range where you'll also be hitting some boxes. So as long as you're getting two to three hits, you know, it's a good super. Now you're probably not going to score many goals with Brock as he's actually pretty bad at killing El Primo's bulls and mortises very quickly so it's hard for him to get very far up the field it's hard for him to get quick kills he's really great at sniping people and destroying boxes though so in general when you're playing brock in brawl ball you're honestly just trying to deal as much damage as possible and also destroy enemy boxes to clear up lanes for you and your teammates to shoot the ball as far as good combinations with brock in brawl ball He's really good when you pair him with either two close range brawlers or one close range brawler and a medium range. I honestly would recommend the one close range and one medium range more often. Depends on the map a little bit, but in general you can do an El Primo or a Bull and then combine that with something like a Shelly or a Tara and all of that works very well with Brock. And now, last but not least, Showdown. This is Brock's worst game mode. He's really just okay here. He's alright, not great. He can kill Dynamics and Barleys pretty well if he can catch them when they're not behind a wall, but he struggles when they are behind a wall. And then he also struggles to kill Shelly's, Bulls, and El Primos that are lurking in grass around the corner. If you do play Brock in Showdown, my recommendation would be to try and stick to the edge of the map and try and chip away at people in order to build up your super, that way you can use it in emergencies. And one thing to keep in mind with Brock is it does take him a good amount of shots to be able to kill boxes for Elixir, so don't focus on it too much, keep your survival in priority as opposed to getting Elixir. Alright everyone, those are all my tips on how to use Brock, I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment below on what brawler you guys want me to do next time. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed, but I actually am using a different mic. Let me know if you guys could tell the difference or not what you think. Alright, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and catch you next time.